Okay. Coming down the old hill. I'll have the uh, the tunnels in a little bit. There's a couple of bikers. Not much on the wave, but uh, yeah, that's all right. They were just concentrating on what they were doing, I guess. All right, these tunnels this time of day is uh, kind of tricky, kind of tricky. We, uh, we've got the sun to deal with here. Let's see, the first thing we'll do after we make this turn is to uh, navigate the little water. Yeah, not much, not much. And then the two little tunnels. Kind of slow on the draw there. Yeah, this will all be fun, fun to to view when I uh, when I get home and kick back. Yeah, if I had my editing software, I could uh, put a little something together, but. And we'll see what goes on. Okay, one more tunnel and we'll be done with them. From bright sunlight to darkness. A little gravel on the road. Never care much for that. With the winds and everything, you, you get that on certain turns. This particular one we're in right now was loaded up one time and uh, guy crashed. I ended up buying his bike. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It started out uh, with nothing but a kind gesture for me. He was laying flat on his back with his buddy, waiting for the ambulance. I offered to go get my ranchero and pick his bike up and store it down at my shop till he got better. So uh, he thought that was a wonderful idea. And uh, so I did that, got my ranchero, and then uh, when I got back, his buddy was still there with guarding the bike. Then he followed me back to the shop, so he knew where the bike was. And we exchanged phone numbers, all that stuff. So the guy got better. And we talked. You know, maybe a month later or so. And I don't know if he was through with motorcycling or not, but he was kind of through with that bike. So he offered to sell it to me. And I bought it pretty reasonable. So I uh, lived down, he lived down in the valley. I went down to the valley and uh, met with him to get the pink slip and give him the cash and stuff. So. Christ, when I got down there, here this guy was, you know, he must have been at least six and a half feet tall. I said, holy Christ, you're a lot taller than the last time I saw you. Last time, he was, he was flat on his back. You know, it's hard to judge how, how tall somebody is, you know. But uh, yeah, that worked out. That was a uh, 1100 Sabre Honda, I don't know what year it was now. 80, Six or something like that, I think. Some more rocks. Well, 
Well, we're back out to the quarry. I think my ears just popped a little bit. A few more bikers. Well, not a bad little day. Eighty-two got a little exercise. I got a little exercise. Trying out my new procedure now uh, with the the Braille click to turn the camera on. I'm still awfully leery about that. Either turn the uh, camera on using the flat screen, which is, there's no knobs to feel or anything on that, so that's pretty well useless unless you're pulled over and you visually see it. But the option is the, uh, there's a high-low button for volume on the side, and when the, uh, <coughs> skunk, oh, he got me. <laughs> anyway. The buttons on the side there's high low for volume and when you're uh, in the camera mode the high button will act as a trigger to turn on the video or to take a picture and so that's uh, they're tiny little buttons there's three of them right next to one another so I'm reaching down to about the engine cover the reach isn't bad but to find those little suckers and then figure out which one's what. And you see, I, you push it once to start it, you push it again to end it. Well, you miss one of those buttons and you're really screwed up. You're, you're shutting off the good part and you're running the part that you don't want. So, being the inventive soul I am, I think what I'm going to do, like in reading Braille, I'm going to put a little raised knob on that one button, the button, the high button, the one that triggers the uh, video or camera, still camera, whatever mode it's in. And we'll see how that works. Now every time you're handling one of these cameras, if you're in the wrong mode though, it's easy to trigger buttons. Normally it's not a problem, but with the weird stuff I do, I can, I find myself getting into trouble. So I think I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna shut this off now and then turn it back on later. <laughs>